everybody. Okay, this is a little bit different than what I normally do. And this video is, I'm sorry, but it is solely for my curly girlfriends. So all you chicks with straight hair, stop right now. Lucky. Anyway, I am going to do a shout out for a product. And I don't use these much because nothing really like blows me away, but this did. Um, this is a product I got a couple of days ago in the mail. I bought it from a girl who said it just didn't work for me. It's too stiff. It is a gel. And um, when I got it that day, it was kind of late in the afternoon. I had gotten home from work. My hair was kind of frizzy on the outside. And usually when that happens and I don't want to watch it, I'll just grab a little pump of gel and rub it through my hands and just put it over my hair. And it kind of calms down the frizz a little bit, but not as much. Now this stuff, I did the same thing. My hair was dry. I took a little bit of it out. It's in a tub. Scooped it out, went like this, the normal amount I would use of gel, and I went like this. I immediately regretted it. It felt like there was honey stuck in my hair. And I had flipped over and gone like this and scrunched it up. And under here, like I couldn't even get my finger through my hair. It was just stiff. And I thought, oh crap, I'm going to have to wash my hair. I'm going to have to wash this crap out. But I didn't because I had to go get to my other job. But it was a pretty, like you, I would go like, and it would be matted. So I thought, crap. So anyway, got home, got home late, went to bed, pinned my hair up like I usually do, got up in the next morning. And it was just, I could feel it, especially back here in the baby hairs. So I didn't have time then to wash it. So I just spray bottled it, a lot of water, and just scrunched it up, let it dry, went upstairs to get dressed. And I went, wow my hair has got a ton of curl definition didn't feel as stiff as it had so i noticed a different th difference that day right away so i kept doing this for like three days straight and i said it's got to be that gel it's got to be that gel even though it was getting a little bit softer because i was spraying it every day with water so i actually couldn't wait to get home and try it on a wash day with soaking wet hair and see what happens. I just had a, mm, a gut feeling that something was going on. So today, here we go. What I am talking about is Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it. I thought that was a different one. Manuka Honey and Mafura, M-A-F-U-R-A -A Oil Hydrate and Design Max Hold Gel. Here it is. Um. I'll talk to you about it in a minute. So anyway, first let me tell you, first let me show you my hair. I'm blown away. I came home this afternoon. I washed it like I wanted to use, used all my products. I'll tell you guys exactly what I use because we have to know step by step. Look at this bounce. Look at this bounce. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to show you my hair, the definition in my hair. All I have done so far is washed it, conditioned it, put my stuff in it, air dried it for like half an hour because I got to get out of here and I started diffusing it and I have not necessarily scrunched the crunch although there's not a whole lot of crunch but here we go can you see that I'll show you the back okay now for me this is terrific definition there's coilies under here and coilies under here. And I swear my hair, my hair is like bouncing like a spring. So look how much shorter it looks because it's all like coiled up. This is always a problem. This piece right here is always a problem. So what I will do is I will go and get a little bit wet, twist it around my finger and clip it up almost like in a pin curl and let it dry for a little bit. And then when I take it out, it will be a little bit more spirally. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I'm happy enough to share this product with you guys, this review, because I don't usually do that. Okay, so let me tell you exactly my routine to get my hair this. Now, mind you, I'm going to take another video tomorrow after I sleep on it, and I've been outside for a little bit, so we can really see what happens. I mean, this is just a wash day. This is right out of, I would say, 99% dry, so you know how wash day is. It always looks great until the next day. So... Uh, let me tell you what I used. Okay, I just uh, washed my hair with Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Coconut Hibiscus Shampoo. 
it's a little sudsy. Um, I'm using this quite a bit. There's only like this much down here. It's a nice light lathering shampoo. I just shampooed my roots really good. And when I wash my hair, I scrunch it to get the suds in there. Rinse that out. And then I use the Sally Beauty GBP generic value product conditioning balm dupe of Matrix Biologic Conditioning Balm. Okay, and what I've heard is they stopped making this exact formula. Gosh darn it. Let's see if I can do something else. Let me turn that on and turn this off. Um, so I don't know. I haven't tried the new one. I've had this bottle for a while. Um, so this is the old formula, and this is great as a leave-in. I will often shampoo, condition, and then leave Put a little in my hand and leave this in my hair this is really good this again is the gvp dupe to matrix biolage conditioning balm always look for the orange okay all right so then i rinse that completely out of my hair and i grab my curly kinky not today leave-in conditioner i love this stuff it has no protein it's got marshmallow and stuff and i used about um a little over a quarter put that in my hair scrunched it in course my hair is dripping at this point flipped over my hair kind of got it to settle because I washed my hair upside down because I didn't take a shower I just washed my hair real quick um, and then I got out and it was drippy so I took my hair repair towel and I scrunched a lot of the moisture out not too much because I was going to put this sticky stuff in so after that was done I was a little scared of course I mean look at this I was a little scared about this stuff right here. Um, so I knew I would have to use a little, but I didn't know how much because most of us, when we use gel, we use a lot and we get it in our hair and we wait for it to dry so we can scrunch that crunch. Um, when I tried to open it, the, the lid, it is a flip top, but there's still a little paper in here. Um, and it smells like heaven, I swear. This is what I think the salons, the beauty salons in heaven are going to smell like. This is delicious. Anyway, I can show you the consistency here. It's a, a thick gel. And um, all I did was scope, scoop like a couple of little fingertips wise. Um, kind of rubbed that lightly over the, over the outside of my hair. Bent over, scooped a couple more did the same thing again, and then I just started scrunching and scrunching and scrunching. It didn't feel that sticky, and I think it was because it was mixed with so much water on my hair. Um, so after I got that in, I clipped my hair up on the roots like I usually do, and then I let it air dry. And while it was air drying, I did it was still drippy. So I had to go and scrunch out a lot of uh, water again and I was afraid I was going to take too much of that gel out, but clearly I didn't. Um, and then I just diffused. And it is 90, it's almost 100% dry right now. And I can tell you I am so, so happy with what I'm seeing right now. I don't think there's ever been a product that has given me this kind of definition since I started the Curly Girl Method two years ago, maybe a little bit more. But I am love with I am in love with this stuff. So you girls that have hair similar to mine, typed type 2C3A low porosity fine hair, try this stuff out. Maybe some of you others with different hair try this stuff out. But go easy, experiment with it. I'm super happy, and then I will do another video tomorrow to see just how good this lasted or didn't last or how my hair felt so we can know for sure. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm not going to get too close because I just kind of got up. But I wanted to show you how I look uh, sleeping on my hair. I did Medusa clip it. I have not refreshed it yet, but I will show you after I do a refresh this morning. But here we go. So it's still got some definition in it. I've got some pretty good volume. Um, and I will be back after I do a refresh, okay? Bye. Okay, so we are all refreshed. I'm not sure it looks all that much different. 
um, it's still a little damp. All I did was use my water bottle sprayer, get it pretty wet, and then just scrunch it up. And you remember that, that crazy piece I didn't like yesterday that, day that was straight? Well, I did pin curl it, and it kind of got a little bit overly curled. See it? But it's slowly stretching out because this morning it was like all the way up here. So, yeah, I would say that I'm pretty impressed for me, I really like this. I'll show you all the back and everything. So yeah, great definition. Uh, the coilies have stayed which is excellent for me because my hair, and I can tell why this product is perfect for me, because by now, my curls would have been more elongated, still a little wet up here, and the curls would have stretched out, and this is only day two. So I'm really happy with the hold. I think that's what my big thing is. It's actually holding the curl up. It is not stiff, it is not sticky, but I would remind you, I would caution you, use a little bit at first. You're going to have to find out what works best for you. I did. I, I learned the right way. Um, might try a little bit more next time or just keep it where it's at because it seems to be working for me. Okay, so that's it for my fantastic product review of a product that actually works for my hair. Again, it's a Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil hard hold gel. Thanks guys for watching. Hope it helps.